Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So this is the second part of my storing photo cards in my binder video. Uh, my mom got home while I was filming and you could hear the TV more than me, uh, which sounded super weird, like I was in an aquarium or something. So that's why I'm recording a voiceover. Uh, you can shut me off and listen to some music instead if you wish to. Uh, yeah, so I'll just try and remember what was going on because I'm doing this way later than filming it so I stopped um, the other video during my GOT7 storing thing um, it made sense in my head because basically in this video everything there will be uh, is my top favorites male groups or members so we start with JB who's one of my GOT7 biases and with his non-album photo cards, um, I do plan on collecting JB Scott at some point. I would like to be a bit more into my Jackson collection before really starting, but I did set up everything one day, because why not? And yeah, so the first one I stored was from the sixth fan meeting, I believe. And these two are from the spinning top tour. So yeah, for the spinning top tour, I would I was only planning on collecting the selfie cards because there are only two uh, per member. But I mean, I ended up pulling one of JB's non-selfie ones, so of course I'm gonna keep it. And yeah, I started with JB and not Jackson because I have way way less of his cards. As you can see, everything's empty. <laughs> I just prepared. Uh, everything and these are the little notes I use I got this from Aliexpress and I think they look super pretty so even if your bind is empty it's empty but cute <laughs> and you can't see that I wrote every card that's going to get in which pocket in it because well the paper is very dark first of all and there are many little flecks of things which make it hard to read, but yeah, everything, everything's ready for JB. And this card, the one from uh, Last Piece, Breath of Love, is so, so cute. The, the whole set with their go-toon dolls are just the cutest thing. Oh, I think if I were to ever try and complete full sets for God 7 the go-toon one would be 100% the first one I would attempt. But yeah, I'll I'll try and not ramble because I I have no idea what to say, honestly. I feel very boring, so please bear with me. Uh yeah, so I moved on to Jackson's card and for God 7 I used the Dragon Shield sleeves. I don't think I showed them um at the beginning of the video because they're the same ones I use for the whole group. And that's his just right card. It's so cute. The set is so cute. Every card is so cute. This one is from the Mad album and they were they're bigger than the others. Uh, so I use the same sleeves I use for Monster X because they're roughly the same size. And these are a bit softer than the other ones, but the size is just perfect. And like they fit perfectly in the nine pocket little thing um yeah and they're super clear and i feel like your card does not just moves around the little pocket or anything so yep i really like these ones at some point i used knc ones for all my monster x cards um but yeah i moved to I changed to these ones and I think I like them a bit better. I know Ultra Pro has some sleeves that are a bit like these, but yeah, I mean, it's just easier for me to get the Dragon Shield ones anyway, so that's why I use these. And yeah, so these are the cards from the Flylog Turbulence album. I just ended up finding his full set with his version of the album on mercury so i was beyond happy it was christmas that day and 
yeah so for cards that are like the horizontal ones uh, usually i have them face the how do i say that the outside of the binder so if i want to i watch them from the right angle i can just turn my binder and it just makes more sense to me but yeah also for jackson's cards when there are more than one card per album i might rearrange everything at some point um because yeah I, i'm just waiting to have everything or most things and see how i can organize it in a way that looks a bit better i guess because i don't know i i can't really visualize things if i don't have them in front of my eyes but yeah so moving on to his fly log arrival cards so i already had these the one with the banner which i actually did not get in my album i know for this one this album i i only got two copies like one of each version and out of the three photo cards you get since they're not version specific i think i got two duplicates out of the seven members so yeah i ended up trading the one i got for jackson so yeah but now he said he's complete and that's when i realized that i had not even shown you all the jackson cards i was supposed to store so there they are so yeah that also has me realizing that I don't know why I did not sleeve all the cards beforehand because this is really boring to watch, I guess. <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. Um, yeah. So I'm just trying to take things out of the pockets because this binder has been so empty for so long that it feels like all the pockets like stuck back together. Um, yeah, so it was really hard to get the little notes out of the pockets, but that's fine. I think the ones from the top row are the easiest ones to get, but <laughs> yep. So this is an example of the page I might want to reorganize. Because I don't really know like the two cards that I already had. If I want them after the colored borders, colored border one. So I'll have to think this through. I mean, right now it means that the three with the colored border are on one row. So I really like that. But... Yeah, I don't really know. I'll have to think about it and see how I want to reorganize. Do I want to have one set of cards per album per page? Or this is just fun things that I'll have to see what I do with later on. But yes, yeah, so moving on to present you. These cards are so beautiful and so, so cute. And you can barely see them because I was almost out of frame. So yeah, the thing I did on for these cards, I don't think they have a specific name. So I tried to describe them very quickly on the papers. And I think I was trying to find which one I said was going where. But again, that's not definitive. So I'll probably move everything around again. Yeah, so this one I think is at the bottom and then I mean for the ones I have and I found once I know for sure that the purchase went through uh, I draw I mean I draw I don't draw I just have a little symbol it's like you know the envelope with the little heart in the middle because it's on the way and you're happy so that's what I put in one of the corners just so it's slightly easier to know which ones I already have 
or I'm going to have and I don't buy duplicates of the same cards because I'm the worst person at remembering do I have this card or have I seen it so many times while looking to purchase things that I think I have it this is really bad this sounds awful but I know I'm really really bad at that especially when there's not like version specifics of things because then I can't be like oh yes this goes with that so I remember having it but yeah this is all the little dumb things that I do so we try not to do it anymore because this has happened I'm really sad to say that this has happened so yeah we try to not do it anymore and yeah, just have one thing of each. That's perfect. I'm very happy and content with that. So, yep. Okay, I really should have at least cut the part where I put the card in the sleeve. I mean, once is fine. <laughs> I don't know why I kept all of them. If ever I do film another one of these videos, I will definitely sleeve my cards before putting them in the binders because why <sighs> so an empty page and i think we're moving on to the next album so that's present you and me these are really pretty actually for present you i might try to put the cards in order you know since the back make a new image a new photo Maybe I'll try to have this be a thing, <laughs> depending on how this goes. I'll have to see because I think it's the it's a horizontal photo, so it might not be possible with the nine pocket presentation. But yeah, and yeah, I thought the back was super pretty for the present you and me edition. <laughs> so these are the only two I found for this one um so i moved on to spinning top and i think that's the only one i found for this uh, these two albums were the hardest to find the photo cards for um i mean present you and me i only have one copy of the album so i might try and get the other two versions to get more cards and spinning top i still don't have it it's on the way it's been on the way for months <laughs> Um, because I use this the cheapest shipping option, so it takes forever to get to me. But I'm hoping to have it within the next month. I want to say so. Hopefully, this page will be a bit more full. But yep, the spinning top set is super cute as well. Like the the photocards where he has his pink little jacket. Ah, oh, I love them. <laughs> but yeah, I moved on to um call my name and i realized that i wrote the name of the album as you calling my name on my little papers and i always mix up the name of the album with the name of the title track for this album specifically i think the other ones the title track is very different from the name of the album so I tend to not mix them up too much, but this one, oh, this one is really bad. And I think in any video where I get photocards from this album, I just keep calling it You Calling My Name. And I know it's wrong, but oh, anyways, <laughs> we have his cute cards. That's the only thing that's important for this. And the set where they have the Agabong as well is so, so cute. Like these, the light stick sets and the light rings sets. Like they have the below the little Agabon ring and the Gotun dolls ones. Oh, the cutest, the absolute cutest. But yeah, I honestly I don't really remember if I was saying anything in this. Because I just don't have anything interesting to say. This is really sad, but that's just the truth. I think at some point I went on to say that I started like 
filming and I was hoping that it would help me learn how to talk about just little things more because I'm really really bad at that or oh, these are the die cards they're so pretty but yeah I'm super bad at chit chatting or keeping up a conversation especially with people I don't know which I'm definitely not the only one in this case but yeah I was just hoping that it would help me like learn how to keep talking and have a conversation going but I guess for that I would have to have something interesting to say in the first place but yeah I'm also trying to like practice my English because this is not my mother tongue as you can tell and I don't really have any reason to speak English out loud so that just gave me a reason to an excuse to I guess but yeah, you probably don't care about that. You're just here to see the cute photo cards. So yeah, just sh shut me off. Put some music on. And uh, I think that's going to be more interesting than just me rambling. Or I can just keep telling you that the cards are so cute. Because, I mean, it's Jackson. And the next ones are going to be just as cute. But yeah, okay, let's just move on. Uh, so these are the cards from Dai. These ones I found so many I was very surprised. It just really depends I guess on the album, on the member I think. Some members have more cards available or they're easier to find in sets maybe. And then maybe depending on when you're looking for them. Maybe right now there are more spinning top cards available. Should I check? Maybe I'll check <laughs> later today. This is not good. I really need to stop doing that. I keep telling myself I'm going to stop a little to buy photocards to catch up with albums I'm late on. But, yep. Photocards. <laughs> oh, also, there's something that made me a bit sad when I realized is that this is the last page for Jackson cards. And they just fill nine pocket pages perfectly if you just store each card from any of their albums, every of their album, one after the other. They just fully fill nine pocket pages. I don't know how many, but they just do. I miscounted while I was preparing for his collection, which is why I have an extra page. But when I realized, I just thought, well, you know what? That's going to be the Japanese collection, I guess. So that's where this comes from. Uh, yeah, so that's his Japanese card. And I don't think it fits in any other small sleeves. So, yep. Uh, and then I moved on to the to his non-album photo cards. So these are the ones from the sixth fan meeting. Um, and for his... I'm gonna try and have them in a chronological order so I just left the first two I already had where they were and uh, yeah, if ever I manage to complete his set I'll try to maybe reorganize this again <laughs> but for now that's fine these cards are so beautiful his hairstyle <sighs> out of this world I love when he's hair is styled this way and then this card is one of the selfies from the spinning top door so I'm missing his other selfie and I think I still have no I'm sure I still have uh, his other cards to, to trade not his other cards but the extras I have from spinning top uh, door sets to trade so I have to put them on my Instagram if ever you're interested in trading things I will have things ready soon I'm making it my mission and yeah so these are the non photo cards inclusions I don't have many left of these four pocket pages I think that was my last one or one of my last ones so that's why I put everything like that um 
I I will have to get some more. Actually, for my non card inclusions, I have a box full of them. And I just need the, the pages to store them. But I never remember how many pages of which number of pockets I need. So I'm gonna have to count everything. But yeah, so that's everything for my GOT7 cards. I'm so happy with how many I managed to find. But yeah, so now moving on to the NCT binder. So this one is the album photocards binder. Um, and I did manage to find some for resonance. Uh, so I used the dragon shield sleeves for all of NCT. Uh, and yeah, oh, I'm so happy with this. Um, I made it my first page of the binder, obviously. I joined a... Uh, or how do you call that? Like it's it was a fan sign for Take Over the Moon, but I it was f girls I ordered from for a group order managed to get into the fan sign, and then they were like, so who who wants to join us basically? So I ordered it. I, I obviously didn't go, <laughs> but yeah, they were super nice about it too. So I'm just beyond happy and so thankful that they did organize all of that. Honestly, they're the sweetest. They're in Australia and I'm in, I'm in Europe and it was always like so easy to ask them questions. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just the sweetest girls. Um, okay, so this is the uh, tail set for Resonance Part 1 and what I did for Resonance. I had no idea how to organize everything at first, but I decided to do um, member rows. Because I'm trying, I'm still trying to collect full group for this. I don't know why. It's it's a nightmare. I don't know why NCT prices went up so much. And uh, member prices differences are just worse than they ever were, I think. But anyways, it's, it's still a little bit of fun, I guess. Uh, so what I do is um, I have the past version then the yearbook and then the future version for the that's not the kino version obviously and yet for good i don't know why i was absolutely convinced that i did manage to secure his yearbook but it actually got cancelled uh the order i placed so yeah i just have to put an, another paper in it to fill the gap so then Win Win's yearbook I got in my copy. I joined a group order for this and I did end up getting his yearbook so I was really happy about that. And then Lucas is one I found on Mercury again. Most of these I got when Bayi did their uh, no fee thing with Mercury so that was really really cool. And I think his, it was a set with this card, the past version, and his yearbook. So, yep. I do wonder if I will not like change how I've organized that and have all the yearbooks in one page. But yeah, see. And that's me realizing that I, I messed up. Completely messed up. Basically, I found Henry's full set on Mercari. And when I prepared for... The binder pages um since i was not putting any paper for the cards i already found i completely forgot to leave room for his so this is me pulling basically everything out and uh reorganizing everything and yep so this is very slow you can see me struggle <laughs> um but yeah, we're gonna have Henry be home where he should be. And that's the only thing that's important. So that's his future version. This is one of my favorite cards from the set, I believe. Like his uh, blue jacket with his blonde hair looks fantastic. Yep, and that's the best version. And the yearbook is somewhere as well. <laughs> I really, I was really not thinking when I prepared this thing, so here it is. And then I had to rearrange everything that came after this, obviously. 
so yep okay so hopefully this is going quicker and i managed to have a like fast forward of some sort but yeah so for every group i put leader first and then age order so that's what i did for this album as well and now we have Geno. so i got him in my albums as well um through the group order i joined uh yeah, i was so happy because i think the group order manager uh did not get almost any of the first five members i put in my uh, preference list so i was so happy to see jeno because at least he was on the list but yeah I mean, I don't really mind who I pull because I try to collect everyone, but still, it it's pretty cool when you can get your top choice. You're like, oh, it's like I won the lottery or something. But yeah, hopefully I'll manage to finish this at some point. So now this is still part one of Resonance, but these are the Kino cards. So for win-win set, again, I joined the group order with the same group order manager and i was so happy because kino cards are a lot harder to find and i don't think i'm gonna collect i don't want to say any but they're so expensive that obviously if i can get my top favorite member for just the regular price of course i'm gonna go for that but yeah and then i found yang yang's card um again during baggy's special discount thing with mercari so that was really cool and these are the cards from part two so again i joined a group order for this and um what i did as you can see it's not organized at all uh, i put everything on just one page because what i'm planning on doing is find uh the how how what are they called? The 10 pocket pages? They're the ones for uh, address cards or contact cards. I don't remember what how you call them. Uh, and I think what I'd like to do for the um, part two of Resonance is have these. And basically you only have two rows for cards. So I'd have the maybe departure and arrival, like one on top of the other for every member and then other pages for just the id cards and others for just the access cards or maybe i'll just keep the departure version with the id cards i don't know yet but i don't want to have them on uh, in nine pocket pages because i don't really know how i would organize that on them but yeah, so for now, I just kept the departure row. The mark cards are from the Kino albums, which I believe said in my coffee. So that's super cute. These cards are so, so cute. So yeah. So that was it for NCT 2020. And now I'm moving on to 127, if I'm not mistaken. Basically, what I did in this binder is I have um, all units for album photo cards and I have 2018, 2020 and then 127, Dream and Wavy and I think I have Super M as well like the NCT members that are in Super M I have them in here so yeah basically full group and then depending on who debuted first okay so these are the cards from Neo Zone, these are the cards, that's the card from the T version. And what I realized is that for my previous cards, like the cards I already have, um, the sleeves I used were not the Dragon Shield ones. And this is so stupid, but I know it's gonna bother me at some point. So just to remember which cards have the Dragon Shield uh, sleeves and which do not, I just turned over the ones that I'm gonna have to change the sleeves for so yeah that's something I'm gonna do within the next few weeks I want to say but at least I know which ones to 
change. And I love this Yuta card. I think it's one of my favorites. Like, I mean, I'm not sure about the filter, but his hair looks fantastic. So, yep. And I'm turning everything over again. And actually, this Taeyong card, I still have an extra off that I need to trade. Just putting this out there, if ever you're interested, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. Then moving on to the final round. So for this, I think, yeah, I got two cards. Uh, some I actually got, I'm fairly sure, from um, a stock sale of a group order. Like, the same group order manager again. So, yeah. I'm just trying very slowly to complete these. Like, these sets. Uh, because they just released so many versions of the same albums, basically. That it, it was just hard to keep up. So, I know I'm super behind on my NCT collection. I think ever since We Are Superhuman, I've really struggled to keep up with the photo cards and we are superhuman with just one version so I don't really know why I did struggle with that one but yeah the neo zone and the final round was really hard to keep up with just five versions plus three kinos total that's a bit too much but I mean all the cards are really cute so I'm not gonna complain too much but I know I'm just taking this super slow and hopefully one day they'll be they'll be complete. But yeah, for now, that will have to do. And then there's resonance. So that's just a lot. I wasn't expecting that actually when I s decided to collect NCT like as a whole. But I mean, I'm not going to complain about having cute cards, I guess. Okay, so these are the Kino versions of... The final round so tail i love this tail card i think out of the two from the kino set this one's my favorite and i love this red hair tail with red hair is just so beautiful wow i don't know who had this idea but yeah just thank you for bringing it back really i see so that's johnny's photo card from the kino album I really like this one too. I think it's my favorite out of the two from the the final round Kino. Just this outfit with the red jacket. It looks super super cool. But yeah, so I'm just turning everything over again. Do not have everything mixed up. This Doyon card is so cute. Both of his Kinos for this album were just extra cute, I think. Okay, so I think here I forgot to put one card in. Yeah, Hendri. I thought I was done with this binder, so I had to bring it back. <laughs> and yeah, so these are the dream cards. I'm trying to find where I have Wavy. Okay, there they are. So for this album, I have the Magni line. The little babies are together now. Yeah, I really like these little papers for Wavy. I mean, all the stationery things on AliExpress are super cute. And I don't know where to find these kind of things in stores where I live. So I spend an unhealthy amount of time on <laughs> AliExpress. Also, I don't think I mentioned it at any point. But for the circle cards, I started using black sleeves because it was a bit bothering to see through all the pages so at least they look all put together somehow but yeah so that was it for this binder and then i have just these two cards i put every non-album nct cards in a separate binder it was just easier to store um if i have full sets i'm trying to keep them on just one page so like pre-order sets for season's greetings or things like that. And then all the other cards, if I have one odd member here and there, I just have them by member. 
and I think I tried to have them like chronologic in chronological order but yeah that didn't work out super well all the time but yeah so this spoon was from an oh, a fan sign it's an Owat fan sign if I remember correctly and I just love this shirt on it and then for win-win I didn't really know how to organize it so I just decided to put the R cards on another page um, just so I could have his that's the photo card from the photo book on the same page as the others but I'm I don't really like the way I put everything in this so yeah I don't really I'm gonna have to take everything out and redo all of this I think because it looks a bit weird to me I think I try to have all these NCT things first and then all the wavy things but even for the wavy things they're not really in chronological order I think I have some like merch things first and then pre-order things and then other event things and that's why the photo book card is just randomly there <laughs> but yeah it's super cute I really love this card he's smiling his hair looks cute and yeah and then the holo cards I have I put on an extra page by themselves so they're just chilling there having fun and I'm struggling to put everything back where it should be <laughs> yeah so that was it for this binder we have the two cute cards and I think that's me saying that I just need to change basically all the sleeves in this so yeah <laughs> very not interesting so now moving on to the last stack of cards and that's the monster x album photo cards binder so i decided to put one hole with them um his solo cards i still use the dragon shield sleeves for his card because they're small enough um yeah so for monster x i decided it's gonna be a year and a half now that I would try and collect full group for all album photo cards. Um, this is going very slowly, but it's fun. They just have a lot of cards, a lot of Japanese cards. Uh, but yeah, they're all super cute. I think they're my favorites out of all of the cards I collect. Um, the size of them as as well is great because it just fills the pocket so nicely oh and that's when i finally remembered that i never showed you which nine pocket pages i use so they're just the ultra ultra pro sorry platinum i think most people use these ones uh yeah so i decided to put one all at the back of the binder um and these are the pre-order sets uh, this one, I think, is the Get Down For You one, and the bottom stack is the uh, My Music Taste one. And then I spend five minutes trying to put everything in sleeves. Uh, yeah, I think I just tried to organize them so it looked, it looked a little bit pretty. So, yeah, but these cards and the back of the cards is so pretty as well like for the two sets they're just all the shades of blue are so pretty and yeah i'm very happy that he kept this color scheme going with his new release but yeah i'm super excited since i use surface shipping i think i'll have my copies in like two or three months but i'm not complaining at least they'll get there at some point but yeah, so what I decided to do was to put the two cards where he has a white outfit in the middle. Yes, I got that one wrong. So I put the two white shirts in the middle and then um, I basically like didn't a cross way the black shirts. So then his purple and blue are also like 
crossed over. <laughs> and then for his album card, so I'm trying to collect full sets as well. And you get uh, six cards per version. There are three versions. And what he did is that basically you get six cards per version. But in these six cards, you can basically have three different sets. So for instance, in the middle row, you can see it better. You have the uh, black shirt, you have two cards. The white jacket, you have two cards. And the white tank top, you have two cards. So what I'm going to try to do is have um, one of each version and of each set, if it makes sense, on one page. So basically, first row is going to be version one, second row is going to be version two, and third row is going to be version three. But each square, each pocket is going to be from a different version. So I'm just rambling. <laughs> I don't think you care and it's not making any sense. It makes sense in my head. I think it's going to look cute. So because since you have six cards, I don't want to put just six cards in on one page. And then I don't want to have two cards from one set in a row and separate one other if it makes sense so yeah and then i'm just trying to make them look at least a little bit pretty i believe for version one there's also one does he have a black shirt on one of them i hope he does so at least i can have a like black shirt dark shirt thing going in the middle but yeah, and then i try to have it make sense with the faces he makes on the photos but yeah. that's just me having fun with it trying to figure it out and i'm still missing quite a few of his cards so we'll see how that goes i think i'm still missing three from version one two for version two and three for version three oh actually he has a purple shirt version one so i might put that in the middle i don't know why i put that on the side okay i have no idea how i organized this honestly i'm gonna have to go back and push things around because i'm not too sure i like how it looks right now but yeah he's just cute middle row is cute row <laughs> he has the best cards oh Look at him. So, so cute. So now they're just chilling together. And I'm going to go back and store the Monster X cards. Uh, I think I went back all the way from older album to newer ones. And for their cards, I use bigger sleeves. So they're still Dragon Shield, but they're softer than the smaller sleeves and they just fit perfectly like the monster x cards fit perfectly in these sleeves so yeah and the sleeves fit perfectly in the nine pocket pages so that's great so these are from the brilliant version of their beautiful album i was so happy to get these cards and i don't really know why i feel like these the cards from this version are harder to find or they're always a bit more expensive than the others. So Shonu's I found on Mercari during the buy thing. And then I am... This I was beyond happy because I ended up purchasing an extra copy of the album when I got my uh, Monster X photo book because I wanted to make it worth it to place an order. And I was convinced that I would get a duplicate for this. And I didn't. And this card is so beautiful. I know I'm still flipping through something else and you can't see it anymore. But the back of the card is so pretty. His outfit is perfect. So yeah, just be unhappy. <laughs> and then these are the Are You There card. Uh, these are the special cards. I think they were from the first press albums basically. 
and yes, so I did get Minox set. Um, I mean, I keep saying that it's from Mercari from the baggy no fee thing, but basically all of these are. So I don't know why I keep saying that, but yeah. And then these are the unit cards from that same album, and these were the two I was missing to complete a Minhyuk and Kihan set. So I was super happy to find them. I think the one that I'm going to store where they have the black outfit is my favorite from their set. They look so, so beautiful. Love it. And then I'm only missing... Only. <laughs> I'm missing all the uh, Shanu, Huono and Juhan uh, unit cards. So this is gonna be fun. <laughs> So moving on to We Are Here. These cards are so pretty. I keep saying that. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I show this Wano card because it's the cutest ever. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really like the ones where they have the like brick wall um, tree background with the red light. It looks so, so beautiful. But yeah, this full set for the whole album is such a struggle for me because there are so many cards and I never remember which ones I found already or just there are so many that was I think the first time Monster X did that many cards and the thing is they were not version specific so you had four versions of the album but you could pull any photo card in any version so I ended up with so many duplicates, even though there were that many albums and that many different cards. <laughs> anyway, I'm moving on to Fantasia X. The masterpiece this album is. Honestly, beautiful. And yes, yeah, so we have Minyok, that's version 2. He's beautiful. Oh, the version 3, I think this set is my favorite, with the yellow bag. They don't all have the yellow background, but still, looks so, so cute. And then we have Minyuk again, for version 4. I think I got his version 1 in, like, the last time I ordered photo cards, but it's at the Korean address, so won't be here for a while. And so these are the units. I love what they did for this. They're all so, so cute. And I think they all have a photo with each other, if that makes sense. So yeah, they're super cute. Their outfits are so pretty. And yeah, this one, so, so cute with the gold foil in the background. So I'm still missing one of the units. That's the unit set I'll have completed the quickest. <laughs> this is just a miracle uh yeah and this one actually got cancelled when i ordered on mercari but i did find it the other day so again hopefully within a few months it'll be home i might actually request shipping to me this weekend because i have orders from Earlier in 2020, that got delivered to the Korean address this week because they were hold no, they were held. Sorry, by the seller because they could not ship to me, and I asked if it would be possible to have it forwarded to a Korean address, and they agreed. So yeah, I might do that. So anyway, this is my Monster X non-album photo cards binder. So. For these, the same thing as for NCT, I try to have uh, full sets together, if I do have a full set, and then it's by member, and I didn't have anything Wano by himself, so now he has his page, and yeah, again, I didn't want to separate just one set, so I just had two rows, and one of each card on each row, so yeah. Again, these cards fit in the Dragon Shield, to the regular ones. And this set is from his fan kit, and they're just so cute. I think my favorites are the ones in the middle. 
I just love this outfit, the shirt with the little leaves and his hairstyle as well. But I think it looks even better because the two cards on each side have bright colors. So do you have things like that where you like the thing but given what is around it, it looks even better? I think that's what happens with these cards for me. But yeah, so that's it for one all. Now he has this little page all by himself. So cute. There he is. That was a struggle to get in. And then the last cards I have, I'm fairly sure, are the pre-order benefits uh, from their photo book. So these you got if you ordered uh, through Starship Square on G-Market and yeah I ordered it super late and you could only get one per ID at the moment I ordered so I did order just one and I got Shanu and IM's unit thing and they look so so cute look at them <laughs> and now IM is not all on his own here so yeah, I was just not too sure where I should put the unit card because since they're not together on a page, I was just a bit lost. So I flipped through a little bit to see where they would fit. Um, at first, I just thought I would add an extra page, I guess. But then I noticed that uh, in, this is the set you get on the Fiesta version and I had just a page with two rows so I put them in the middle of that so at least they were like in the same um, set I guess so yeah that was the last card for this binder and for everything at least so yeah if you've watched until now thank you so much i hope you enjoyed i'll definitely sleeve my cards before storing them next time because that was awful but yeah take good care of yourselves and see you next time bye